is a lower scale, less dense, less complete new town than originally envisioned. But uh, but it's amazing that actually, even though there's not as much material, not as many dwelling units, not as much commercial, not as much civic as originally envisioned, it still feels really nice. Because we are riding our bikes from Mount Pleasant, right, to Beaufort, South Carolina. Fantastic. Just today. That's just today, right? Today. Yeah. And where are we going tomorrow? Savannah. We designed Ion. We started in Rockville and came here. Actually, we began in Savannah. Almost a reverse of the trip we're taking. And we stopped in places along the way that we'll be stopping, like, uh, like um, Beaufort and um, and Rockville. Design, by design, steps out into the view, and you get the church steeple on axis here. And not too many steps that way between us and the church steeple is the spot at the Dock Street Theater where the charter for the new urbanism was signed um, all those years ago.
the big move first was they said instead of having a dock at every house, which is polluting all the rivers and looking really bad, they would have a common dock. And they would ask all the homeowners to share in its use and its upkeep, and they would make it open to the public. acres out of the 282 are either alleys, green space, parks, um, as Tom said, kind of working around the national park. The alleys, as you noticed, were all gravel. That was another thing we did to kind of, A, slow traffic down, uh, slow the traffic down, and, and uh, also to keep just kind of the water, re you know, from water runoff, it just works a lot better than the, and it, and it has worked. I mean, we still have people kind of complain a little bit about the gravel, but I think it just so, it makes it so much more subtle. So people walk the alleys more so than probably the sidewalks. They go up and down the alleys. Um, so it would kind of, as a plan, this is the urban area right here. They, they did not, we weren't really allowed as we started and got the zoning. The property was already zoned for a thousand units, mixed use. But the original plan had like apartment complex right here, the gas station here. And then every inch of frontage of the property was single family homes. There was no parks along the, the right the greenway. And so one of the things we did on the master plan is we made sure something we learned from Newpoint, but we actually have a greenway that runs all the way along the property right here. So really you can walk almost from one end of the property to the other along the marsh. And so that was a big deal because the other other um, development that was master planned here that we when we bought the land had lots just going right to the water everywhere they could. So you never would see the water if you rode around the neighborhood. So that was a big, we did it at New Point. It was kind of ambitious at New Point because we pulled the houses back and did a green, but you can only walk, did you guys walk over there? You can only walk walk up there. And here we said, well, let's put the road in front so you feel it and you, as you drive through the neighborhood, whether you're biking or walking. Um, on the island, we this was all single family homes out here. Of course, this was probably the most expensive lot right here, but we gave this back to the community as part of the plan just to, I think it just enhanced so much value. So what it did is, the people that live back here have a chance to come and feel and touch the water 